What it is YouTube, your boy Black Prince Bob up and ready to show you guys something new. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to cut a high top face, so stick around because the end of results will be smoke. See you guys on the other side. What it is, what it is, what it is, YouTube. It's your boy, Black Prince the Barber, up and ready for another tutorial for you guys. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to do a high top fade. So stick around and let's get into it. Okay, YouTube, it's time to get into the fun part. The very first thing you want to do is just grab that brush and continue to comb or brush the client's hair. Contour to his head. That's the way I make his shape up or his fade. So stick around and let's get into the first step of the hair clip. Okay, YouTube, I just want to give you guys a little hint. Usually you see me making a first initial guideline with the clip is turning the opposite way. But on, in this particular haircut video tutorial, I just want to tell you guys that this is the most simplest way to do it without having to take that harsh guideline out. So just take your time and do not put too much pressure on the initial guideline. Okay guys, after my first initial guideline, I grab my Austin Fast Feed. I open them bad boys up. Then I go up a whole inch. I usually go up a quarter of an inch, but going up a whole inch give me more room to fade because you want to have enough room to fade. That's where the smoke come in at. So just be aware that everything that you do on one side, please do it to the other side as well because you don't want to have one side of the fade higher than the other. So just be persistent and just use keynotes so even if you had to turn the client around to make sure everything is even on one side therefore you know what I'm saying you'll have everything even on the other side Okay, YouTube keynote. Usually, you see me use my number one magnetic guard and put them on my Austin Fast Feed and go up another inch. But in this particular tutorial, I just want to show you guys the simplest way to do it. What I did, I grabbed my one and a half blade and put on my Austin Octane and presumably go up a whole inch because actually the fade is coming in itself, as you notice. So just keep on watching the video, and while you're watching the video, please hit that subscribe button down there that's blinking, and subscribe and like this video. Okay, YouTube, I slap my 1A on there. I go with the grain because I want my transition of my fade to be perfect. So I always just try yourself to cut the way you want to cut, but this is the way I learn. Go with the grain because you will have a smoother transition in your fade. So stick with me long enough and you will find out at the end of this video. in YouTube first you see me going with the grain with my 1A I still have them on my Oxtar Octane now I just turn them bad boys around and go against the grain like I said it will give a better and smoother transition to your fade so just use the corner of your blades or whatever and don't forget to always comb the client's hair as needed because you know the more you comb the client's hair as you fade the more you see your fade starting to transition All right, YouTube, I went back to my Austin Fast Feed. Now what I'm doing, I'm going 
to knock that bottom line out. So what you see me doing now, I'm going to the line, and before I get to the line, I flick out because you don't want to put too much pressure on that line because you will be pushing that guideline or the fade line up. So remember to adjust as needed. Go back and do detail work and just be clean with your work, period. Okay, now it's time for the shape up. What I did, I grabbed my pick. I don't care how long it take me for to pick my client's hair out. I'm just trying to make sure everything is, is picked out neatly because if you want to start a neat haircut, you got to know how to end it. So just pick his hair or comb it or whatever because you know what I'm saying? Persistence is time, especially when you're trying to be professional with it. So I just picked my client's hair out to, you know what I'm saying, to the maximum potential and then I start to shape it up. And another note, I usually do a line up before I do the shape up, but in this simple tutorial, I'm just showing you how to do a shape up before the line up. Okay, you guys, and so now it's time for the lineup. As you notice, that shape up is pretty fresh. But now let's get into this lineup. Remember to always start in the center of the head. I usually work my way from the center to the right or the center to the left, depending on where I'm standing at when I'm lining my client. But right now, you want to make sure everything is equal lateral, meaning the line. I mean, the line had to be so straight, man, because if you want the haircut to look good, the lineup most definitely have to look good. Okay, now when they get down to his bars, I turn my clippers around a certain way. I mean, the way I hold them, that's the way I do my bars because I try to many other ways to do it but this is the most comfortable way that you can do a straight line considering when you're doing the bars so just take notes from me and you will learn how to cut hair major key alert remember to always have your client facing you that's how you know your line will be straight like i said start in the middle and work your way to the left or right and then you do the opposite direction but make sure everything is even on both sides before you continue Okay, YouTube, you already know this is the cut, and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. If you don't hit that subscribe button, you won't know when I drop a video. So just hit me up on YouTube, and most definitely follow me on Instagram at black underscore prince 79. It's your boy, Black Prince the Barber, out with them fresh, brand new cuts. If you like it, please leave me a thumbs up. And if you like the tools that I use in my video, I will leave the links in the description below so you are more than welcome to check them out. It's your boy Black Prince the Barber out and may God bless. I, I, I